Elden Ring preyed on my preconditioned notions of how a Souls game is meant to work, and I love it for it. In every Souls game, there's always a depressed dude in the beginning that tells you what to do, and I should have fucking known something was up because this guy in the white mask isn't suicidal like some other people I know. I did a little looking around, slayed the burial watchdog, found my new Emerald Herald, bolted for the castle, and before I knew it, some old dude starts talking shit, does the Nameless King entrance, and this being my first story boss, I was thinking that he was gonna be a pushover. But then I landed a hit. Oh fucking no. You need to work on fitness. My what? Fitness stick in your mouth. Now you may be wondering how badly I got my ass beat, and well, it went on for about 40-ish minutes because my brain could only fixate on the idea that this guy was the first story boss, blocking my entry to the one place I was told to go. But eventually, I went from excited to frustrated to just flat out bored and realized that maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. In response to all my licks, I took to the world, hightailed it from the Knight's Cavalry, found the Bloodhound Knight, and much like Boston, I got massacred. I ended up finding an NPC invader, but I was not ready, so I took my frustrations out on on a troll and after this point I basically got so lost that I ended up in Dark Souls 1. Luckily I found my way back to Elden Ring but unfortunately I ran even further out and found an NPC that told me to go to Castle Morn. So I thought that was where I was supposed to go. I got there and for some reason I didn't get the hint that I wasn't supposed to be here either so once again I found a boss and beat my head on it for nearly 40 minutes before I got frustrated, killed the screeching twins, naked with a claymore as it was meant to be, and finally found a chest that sent me to the actual hell where Commander O'Neill, O'Reilly, O'Connor, O'Malley killed me, so to close my day out, I played some man shit. I woke up with one thing on my mind, slaying Margit the fuckwit, and I went full spread ass cheek on this one. I felled the tree sentinel, upgraded my sword, got some titty, and beat an Arigus. I got very pleasantly surprised by patches, and thankfully I ignored every sense of reason I have in me because I spared the guy, and it turns out he has an item to trivialize the first stage of Margit's fight. Go figure. Anyways, I went back to Margit and we've talked some shit. Did you increase your fitness? Your life literally is as valuable as a summer ant. I'm just gonna stump you. You're gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna seal Excuse up all my Excuse me? Oh shit, that fucking hurt. It was the culmination of a whole lot of running around and not knowing what I was doing and ending up in spaces that I had no business being in. But through all the nonsense and deaths, I finally fell to Margit and earned the right to see the castle. <laughs> A bird pushed me off a ledge not too long afterwards, which kind of ruined the catharsis of beating Margit, but my ultimate point is that Elden Ring is an open world game that demands you interact and explore the world. And although I don't really like open world games that much, I actually have a little appreciation for this one because it forced me to interact with the world, and for the first time in a long time, I feel like I'm playing an open world game where the open world actually has substance to it. Now if you excuse me, I got a bottle of wine to drink, so bye bye have a nice day.